Jeff Duncan. Michael Jordan is up there with Magic Johnson. Then there's Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Leonard in at the small four. And for the Celtics. Tatum out there with Doncic. It's Garnett. And it's Pierce. And it's Russell in at the five spot. To look at the Bulls. And this series will put them to the test. Break. It's difficult competition they're up against. And now is not the time to get clever. You go with what got you here. You're saying, here's what we've got. See if you can stop it. Back to Duncan. To the paint. Here's Shaq. That's good. And so Duncan with the assist. O'Neal's got the game going with his first points of the game for Chicago. Couldn't tell if they tried to foul Shaq here, but didn't matter. Knocks it loose. Jitch passes to Tatum for three. Pierce, first shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Johnson against Dungeon. Johnson goes in. Duncan, the pass to Johnson. Here's O'Neal. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, exceptional play there take the ball and still get it to fall. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Well, sending Shaq to the line here is on paper the smart foul. O'Neal might just make them regret it. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And folks, he did not luck into that one. He was just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Duncan outside. One up, one down, two points with his first shot this game. And Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket. Has a number of moves to choose from. And that soft, delicate touch from near the rim. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand. And he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Here's Jordan. O'Neal trying to break free. The shot's good from Jordan. Wow, now this is how you want to start your games. Flawless shooting so far. Russell finds Garnett. Doncic fires from way outside. That shot off the mark. And it's Chicago the other way. Johnson outside. And Magic Johnson with the slam. Johnson. Love a big man who can pass. Great instincts. Duncan finds the open man there for the bucket. Here's Doncic. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Poor design there defensively. They know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. See, this is what analytics don't take into account. Some guys thrive in the mid-range. Really depends on the shooter. It's actually kind of lazy. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. A new lineup here for the Bulls. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. In the third spot, Tim Duncan. And, and guys, that shooting percentage of his has been spectacular since the start of the playoffs. He has been completely locked in. There's the pass to Stiakovic. And the three off target. Boston trailing. Now the fast break. Tatum with the ball. Strong from three point land. Tatum is a 40% shooter from deep. That's impressive. Doncic against Tatum on the wings to Yakovic. Here's Gilmore. And against the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Bulls. And it's Russell at the elbow. The Celtics working the ball around now. The basket counts, and one will go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. <laughs> okay, just some big boy strength there from Tatum. Just put himself to the line. Austin shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Bulls have gotten six or seven shots to fall in the first quarter. They're off and running. Pippen kicks to Payton. First quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Stojakovic, the pass to go more. Shot clock at five. Good, nice job down low. Pippen. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. And the shot is good. As 
has got six. This tug of war game continues. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Peyton dishes to Embiid. Pass to Stiakovich. Here's Gilmore. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Assist. Five points they in the game. The They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Pippen. And it's sent back by Russell. And guys, this is where instincts come into play. So much you have to read defensively. Russell not fooled at all. Peyton passes to Pippen inside. Here's Embiid. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And he gets it to go. And superb strength there from Peyton, absorbing the contact and keeping his composure for the finish. And now the Bulls on the break. Gilmore passes to Stojakovic. Fires the three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Stojakovic, a super sniper. He can knock it down from anywhere, but the three ball is his special. Buried from outside. Well, I don't know. I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And, guys, big games like this in the NBA playoffs, you appreciate the benefit of instant replay to make sure they get the call right. Now they're going to switch the call. There is no doubt he looking for the replay that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't know. It's the Bulls up by two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Boston. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference semifinals. And uh, guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge too. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Boston's gone four sets from outside the arc tonight. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. We've got Morant, and Bede is out there with Pippen. And it's Peja Stiakov, and it's Gilmore in at the front. And man, does Morant put on a show. He's got such insane athleticism. Great positioning on the putback. But Brady's got his first points of the night. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an edge. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. And it's Djokovic missing. The Celtics with the lead. A three. And there's Tracy McGrady, the assist from Benny Hardaway. McGrady's got five points now this quarter. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Here's Morant. And he banks in the lane. Morant's got his second bucket of the game to go. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And it's the level of creativity that separates LeBron. It's second to none because he's such an incredible ball handler also. Gilmore. And he makes good on the layup. Gilmore's got seven points in the game. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. That score this first quarter. That title woke him up and he's That shot off. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And James throws it down hard. Okay, wow. Old man LeBron James getting acrobatic, putting on a show. I see you, big fella. Down low, MB. 
And Embiid throws it down. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Here's Hardaway. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And a moment I'll quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Celtics. That free throw good from Hardaway. Hardaway hits them both. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Johnson against Hardaway. Jordan drives in. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Jordan's got his second bucket of the night to the inside. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Can really get 20 shots away with that size. The shot's good. Now just a three-point Celtic lead. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. LeBron's shot is good. Yeah, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. He's locked in with his teammates right now, setting guys up in perfect position. Johnson dishes the left. Kicks to Duncan. That one falls. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. On the wing, Tracy McGrady fires from 18. And there are the Celtics with another basket. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. And Jordan gets it to go. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Inside. LeBron outside. No good on the triple. Bulls trail by three. Jordan kicks the shot. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Over McGrady. And Jordan gets it to go on the assist by O'Neal. Jordan's got six points in the quarter. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. LeBron with the bucket. Now his entire career, I was watching LeBron James, watching his improvement in his three-point shot. It has really been the difference in his game. They get it again. Pass to Johnson. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. It's stolen by Davis. And LeBron throws it down hard. He can make you miss in more ways than just one. LeBron with a nice little dribble move. Michael That's in. The Jordan. Celtic lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Michael Jordan. And out of bounds in Chicago Games possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And that block was something. It's the playoffs in every possession and defensive stop matters. And he trains the three, but let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. The teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room to bring out the monitor and see if he got that shot off in time. Celtics, 49. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back. You are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. It's been a clinic out there by James. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. His performance shows no sign of any nerves. Great job controlling your emotions. We've got Pierce. Doncic out there with Tatum. It's Garnett, and it's Russell, and at the center, locking down the middle. And that's the group in there for Ime Udoka as we begin the second half. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Here's Doncic. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Doncic has got his second basket of the game. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Count the basket. He is so hard to cover Shaq effectively inside. He just powers through you. To the paint. It's blocked by Shaq. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. 
And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And the basket by Tatum. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Bulls. Duncan outside. With the drive. And Duncan throws it down hard. This is and how about that find by Leonard to a wide open shooter. He, he's only getting better at seeing those gaps. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Jordan gets thrown in. Outside for Jordan. Six to shoot. Again, Chicago. Michael, that's Jordan. their third straight make off an assist. Donjic passes to Pierce. Leonard with the steal. One-on-one -on -one here. Here's Johnson. Beautiful dish, Magic. and the layup goes Johnson. down. Johnson's got his second basket of the night. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. And that one's good by Pierce. Well, he with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. This is Shaq at his best, getting that deep position and then just muscling through. And the dunk by Doncic. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. No doubt, that's the kind of play that can energize the whole team, and they will take it in a close game like this. Chicago calls timeout. And some changes here for the Soviets. Matumbo comes in for Russell. Hardaway is subbed in for Luka Doncic. Chicago trailing. Here's Peyton. He dishes it to Embiid. Kevin Garnett with the steal. And it's slammed in by Garnett. And far from just a score, Hardaway is also a death. And it might be with his team. Not loose. Hardaway with the steal. The deep three from Tatum. That drops and it comes off the assist from Hardaway. Hardaway's got his seventh assist here tonight. Gibbon finds Embiid. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Gilmore passes to Peyton. Here's Gilmore. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Garnett. And this is what leaders do. Peyton showing a willingness to get it to the open man. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dog than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. On the basket by Peyton. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. And they look like a completely different team. I wonder what Coach said to them at halftime to help spark this momentum chain. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Peyton passes to Gilmore. Here's Embiid at Chicago with another bucket. How do you stop a good fadeaway jumper? Yeah, that's a trick question. You yeah, know. Here's Tatum. Oh, 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 that is a monster finish. Oh. Mercy, Jason Tatum is a bad guy. against Tatum. Defense is right there. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Three-pointers to Jakovic. And Pierce pulls it down. Tatum wide open. He fires one. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. Hey, guys, big games like this. And teams playing well. Celtics lead by eight. We got a chance to get a great road win right now. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. So with Duncan sitting on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. 
Joel Embiid out there with Pippen. Then there's Peyton. Then there's Stojakovic. And it's Gilmore in at center. Strong move to the team. Trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. And that could be the spark they need to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Now a timeout called by Boston. Boston ends up going with a new group. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A. Thank you, Kevin. During the last break, got to listen in on Ime Adoka's huddle with his team. His demeanor was not one of the coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. See if they were listening, guys. Thank you, David. To Embiid. Peyton against Doncic. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to just four points with the bucket from Peyton. Clearly, Peyton knows the ins and outs of the game. A little contact won't trip him up. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stop down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. It's the putback. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. He'll be around the rim. Defense has always got to know his whereabouts. James kicks to McGrady. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Well, assists like that have terrified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Three-pointers to Jakovic. Rebounded by Howard. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. And here's Doncic from the arc. They grab their own miss. McGrady outside. James. And finished off by LeBron. And this should come as no surprise. LeBron James is a ridiculous scorer. But this man also knows how to get cooking. Time call here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. I'm sure all of the above is in order. And you can never be too content. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Johnson against Doncic. Duncan outside. From deep three-point range. The rebound by the Celtics. Here's LeBron. Duncan with the block. He's the defensive anchor for this team. Duncan excels at leading shooters and then altering their shot. Johnson the pass to Duncan. Good D by Howard. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Wasted no time on that one. But Brady's got the lead at the 12 now for the Celtics. To stop the run. Offensive rebound. And Shaq with the slam. O'Neal. And the strength of O'Neal is otherworldly. It's Davis on the win. Nice ball movement by Boston. Back to Doncic. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flame. Ball always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. A, a generational talent. Doncic able to carry a team and make others around him better. Here's O'Neal. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Assisted. Mike Jordan's got three assists in the game. Here's Howard, and he drops in the way up on the glass. And a really nice job by Howard to come up with the high percentage interior shot. His shot selection has been superb. Here's Jordan, and the Bulls tap on two more. Jordan coming off a big game. His confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Oh, oh wow. yes! find a much more entertaining sight. I'd call that slam dunk contest level. Austin leading by nine. Here's Doncic. Chalk up two there. Doncic has got nine points here in the second half. 
Here's Shaq. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. We have gotten used to this kind of dominance from Shaq. He just knows how to take over the game. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Celtics. That's good for O'Neal. Boston's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them a fall. Back to Doncic. Davis dishes to McGrady. Takes it inside. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for Boston. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but you know, they had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all the storms. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Jason Tatum. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Doncic with the block. And good instincts from Doncic. His coaches and teammates love when he's in hustle mode and gets those blocks. And Doncic throws it down. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. It's always nice to perform like this, especially in front of the faithful home crowd. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. James outside. I'm deep. So we see Boston get the win here. And you got to feel good about getting each and every game here in the postseason. You know, each game is just so significant and magnified. This has got to feel really good. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight we were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, just gotta have his Thank you, David. Great interview once again. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.